Hey, I'm Jerry, and this is kind of a big deal. What I have right here is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now, I know you've seen the 16 inch MacBook Pros, and I know you've seen 16 inch Mac Pro unboxings, but this is a Apple certified refurbished 16 inch MacBook Pro. But what's inside? Does it look used? And is it a good deal? I don't know. Let's see. So what I have here is the base model 16 inch MacBook Pro. It is the 2.6 gigahertz, six core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage, the AMD 5300M with four gigabytes of video memory. So I think that the Apple refurbished store is kind of a secret. I don't think very many people know about it or the types of deals you can get. The types of deals that you can get really depend on what's available at the time. The stock changes frequently, so you have to keep an eye on it, and sometimes you can find a great deal. And I'll talk a little bit later about what this refurbished MacBook cost me. But without further ado, let's rip into it. I haven't owned a Mac since the end of 2013, so this is the first Mac that I've purchased since 2012. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't even know how to use a Macintosh anymore because I haven't used a Mac since Mac OS X Mavericks. So I'm not even sure what changes are in Mac OS. Holy cow, just removing the top of this box, this thing is huge. This is a massive laptop. The last MacBook I had was an 11 inch MacBook Air. And this thing has got some weight to it. That is for sure. I went ahead and got the silver because that's all that was available for this price on the refurbished store. But let's see what else is in the box. We have a USB-C power cable designed by Apple in California. I bet there's some stickers in here. Yep, ooh, and they're silver. and the power adapter. So Apple says that their refurbished computers go through a stringent refurbishment process and make sure that they clean them and that everything is as nice as they can be. Now, I've heard a lot of stories about how refurbished MacBooks from Apple come with new batteries. So anything that's expendable in the computers, they replace. But let's pop this open and see if there's any scratches or how this thing looks. Look at that. Like, this thing is just gigantic. This is by far the largest laptop I've ever owned, I guess. I, they used to have 17-inch MacBooks, I believe, but I never had one of those. This thing is really sleek, really cool, I like it. And there is not a scratch, not a smudge, not a ding on this thing anywhere. Let's open it up. So, as I recall, this is very much essentially the exact same process of opening up a brand new MacBook, the exact same types of packaging as opening up a new MacBook. It's just in a slightly different box. Now it's booted and I don't know what to do with it. So, I think I need your help. the main language. Press the return key. I think I need your help to tell me what to do with this. I used to be a power user. I am a power user. I am an IT professional. Back in the end of 2013, I decided I wanted all my computers to be consistent. I didn't want to switch between platforms. And now, I guess I do want to switch between platforms. Holy crap, this screen is huge. Like, looking at this thing, like it blocks almost the entire camera view of me. You can't even Netflix see me. This contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. We'll turn that if down. If you know how to use VoiceOver. So not only have I missed a few generations of Mac OS, I now have to figure out the touch bar. And luckily, let me, now you can see me, right? Luckily, I missed the entire period of butterfly keyboards. Now that the 16 inch MacBook Pro is out, they're back to scissor switches and and I don't even need to worry about the reliability of the keyboard. Wow, I mean, I don't even know what to say. This screen is massive, this computer is massive, and 
I'm not even sure what I'm going to use it for. I guess it'll replace my Windows computer. I still use my iPad for most mobile things, so I gotta find a way to fit this into my workflows to justify it, I guess, or just return it, I don't know. But again, this is the unboxing of the 16-inch MacBook Pro. This thing looks flawless, it looks brand new, it looks like it's not used or returned at all, and I cannot get over the size of this thing. So, is it a good deal? Well, let's look at the numbers. If you go to apple.com and you look at the base model 16-inch MacBook Pro with 2.6 gigahertz, 512 gigabytes of storage, and the AMD 5300M, that retail price is $2,399. That's a lot of money. But if you don't know, you can go to the bottom of apple.com, find the refurbished and clearance section. In there, you can click on the type of item you want, in this case, a Mac. In here, you can see what's available for refurbished items, which offer fantastic deals. So if we look at the 16 inch base model MacBook Pro for the refurbished price, it is $2,039. That's a $360 savings right off the bat. That is a huge savings. Now, if you go to Swappa or you go to eBay or, or you go somewhere else and try and pick up a used MacBook Pro 16 inch, you're not gonna find this type of deal. In fact, this is so much of a better deal because of the refurbishment process. And it comes with a full one year warranty from Apple and you have the option of purchasing Apple Care if you want to for an additional two years beyond the first year. And as an added bonus, if you are military or veteran, then you can actually get an extended discount. If you search Apple's site for military discounts and you sign in with ID.me, you can go to this refurbished section and get an additional discount. So I was able to get this base model 16 inch MacBook Pro for $1,835. That's $565 below the retail cost for essentially a brand new Mac. So is that a good deal? $565 off? for a brand new, essentially a brand new Mac? Yeah, I think so. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this Mac first. What should I install? How should I configure it? Give me some tips. I don't remember what to do. So anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you're interested in what I do next with this, hit subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jerry Schultz for video updates and I'll see you next time.